Hello, and welcome to another Coding Byte speedrun with me, Vince, of the IB Math Textbook. This is speedrun 2 of today, and we will be continuing our exploration of proofs by looking at proof by contradictions. So, let's jump right in. So, instead of the normal proof where you have, like, you know, you have a statement, and then you transform it a little, and then you get a final outcome, in this case, the proof by contradiction is you assume that a statement is false, sorry, is true. It's like we're working backwards. And then you prove at some point that there is a logical fallacy, that this cannot be correct, and therefore this original statement cannot be correct. So yeah, that's pretty much proof by contradiction. So let's look at some problems. So for the first problem, we have for all numbers, oh, for all integers, if n squared is odd, then n is also odd. And we need to prove all of these statements using proof of contradiction. So in this case, we want to assume that our contradictory statement is if there's an n squared that's odd and that an n that is even exists. And the thing is, if n squared is odd, it can be expressed in the form 2m plus 1. And if n is odd, it can be expressed in the form 2k, where m and k are any integer. So the thing is, what they're saying is 2k squared is equal to 2m plus 1. Otherwise, 4k squared is equal to 2m plus 1. And this is simply a contradiction. Because on this side, you have an even number. But on this side, you have an odd number. And so therefore, if n squared is odd, n must always be odd as well. OK, that was a OK. Let's move on to the next one. So. Next question is, prove the fifth root of 2 is irrational. So yeah, a lot of irrationality proofs rely on proof by contradiction. So how, the, the method to prove that a number is rational is it must be able to be expressed in the form a over b, where a and b are different integers that share no common factors. For example, um, 2 over 4, you're not, like, we can't use 2, two over 4 in this form. Um, and we can't use, like, assume, like, 3 over 9. These are two, still rational numbers, but it's just that they can't share a common factor. And we can simplify both of those into forms that do share a common factor. That don't, sorry, that don't. So in this case, Okay, so let's say a over b is equal to the fifth root of 2. Let's assume that the fifth root of 2 is rational for this moment. So that means a to the 5 is equal to 2 times b to the 5. And it therefore follows that a must be an even number, say 2m. So now the thing is, um, the, a must be an even number, of course, because it is equal to 2 times another number, and that's always even. But the thing is, if we substitute 2m back into this equation, we get you know, 2m to the 5 is equal to 2b to the 5. Or otherwise, 2 to the 5, m to the 5 is equal to 2b to the 5. And the problem being that this means that b to the 5 is equal to still an even number, 2 to the 4, m to the 5. And since a is equal to an even number, and b is equal to an even number, it means that these two share a common factor, and they are not relatively co-prime. And so therefore, there is no um, rational number that exists, and therefore 5, two, uh, sorry, two, five, uh, so 2 root 5, 5 root 2, no, 2 to the fifth root is irrational. OK, let's move on to the next problem. So the next problem is for all um, a, b, which 
are integers 12a squared minus 6b squared is not equal to 0. Okay, so we want to assume that, well, let's say that 12a squared minus 6b squared um, is equal to 0 for some numbers. What this means is that a squared, 2a squared minus b squared is equal to 0 since we divide all of it by 6. And so that means 2a squared must equal b squared. And so the problem is that um, b obviously must be equal to the square root of 2a. And we know that, sorry, I mean, not that. Um, 2a squared. So we, uh, so what this means is that b squared over a squared must be equal to 2. So b over a equals the square root of 2. And this is a problem because if we assume that a and b are integers, then we cannot express the square root of 2 in this form with two integers. And so therefore, this is a proof by contradiction that this is not possible. Okay, next one. So we have the seventh problem. If n and k are integers, n squared plus 2 not, is not equal to 4k. So let's assume that there are some integers, I don't know what, that for um, n squared plus 2 is actually equal to 4k, and we'll work from there. So if m squared plus 2 equals 4k, it means that n is an integer. So we can set m to like 2, n to like equal 2m. Now the thing is, this means that 2m squared plus 2 is equal to 4k, which means that 4m squared plus 2 is equal to 4k, and this um, results in some issues, because if, I mean, I guess the easier way to prove it is if this is a multiple of 4, if we add 2 to any multiple of 4, regardless of which multiple of 4 it is, it can't equal another multiple of 4, right? Uh, the other way to prove it, I guess, is if you say m squared minus k must equal to um, negative 1 half. And the problem is that we assume m and k are integers, and one integer squared minus another integer can never equal a fraction, so therefore there must be a contradiction. Finally, um, our last problem will be given that m and n are positive integers, it follows that m squared minus n squared is, equal, is not equal to 1. Okay, well this one's pretty straightforward. Let's assume that there are some integers m and n that where the difference of their squares is equal to 1. That means m plus n times m minus n is equal to 1. And this is a, there's already a fallacy here. If we assume that m and n are integers, this means that these two must also be integers. And so there is no way that m plus n is equal to m minus n is equal to 1 if m and n are both positive integers. I mean, it is true if n is equal to 0, but that's not the case we're counting here. And so this is the final proof of contradiction. So I hope that that has improved your knowledge of proofs by a bit more. And I hope that, you know, you continue to follow along with these speed runs and maybe learn some more for yourself. See you in the next one.